Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about one of the most frequently asked and encountered problems of second houses regarding Actis, that is how to update ENCs. I'm going to show you the correct way of procuring and applying the updates. For this video, I'm using Transers or Watsi like this and One Ocean as service provider. But the method is more or less the same for all manufacturers. First, let us understand what are updates and why we need to be worried about them and also the correct sequence these updates are made available. So any ENC or digital chart of any area has a compilation date. This is the date when this chart was made based on the data available at that time. Now it is possible that there are other things which have happened since this date in this area. These changes only are promulgated in the form of updates. Now there is a sequence in which these are published. First, whenever there is an event such as a wreck or a new installation, they are first sent by Navtex. This is an equipment which is present on every foreign going ship and receives messages up to 200 miles from the shore. This is why all officers on watch must keep Navtex always on and check for new messages which are applicable to the route. You must find and select the correct Navtex station for your route from Admiralty Digital Radio Signals Volume 1345. Select Navtex stations and it will show all the Navtex stations in your area. Double click on any and it will show you a map of the current area. Look for the red color stations as they broadcast in international frequencies. Once you find the correct letter code, for example A or C, go to your Navtex and select these stations as user selected stations. Once selected properly, you will start receiving messages. But Navtex works roughly up to 200 miles from shore. So what about Open Sea then? Then SatC come into play. We receive the same warnings in SatC also. Throughout the week, all messages which are sent by Navtex are accumulated and printed again in the form of nav area warnings next week. Also, these are printed in notices to mariners weekly updates as temporary or preliminary notices or in short TNPs. Now these TNPs may include some preliminary construction work notices too. For example, if somewhere a new jetty is being built, it will first be promulgated as a TNP notice and when the construction work is completed, this TNP notice will upgrade to a permanent correction. So this is the correct sequence how updates are released. There is another term called AIO or Admiralty Information Overlay which is nothing but similar to TNP. Earlier days when we used to have paper charts, there used to be two types of updates, TNPs and permanent corrections as we talked earlier. Ever since ECDIS was introduced, all updates have been combined into one. ENCs are manufactured by hydrographic offices of the country where the ENC is concerned. The hydrographers may include the TNPs in their ENCs. If they are including, then they will come as ENC updates and if they are not including, then they will come as AIO. To know whether an ENC manufacturer is including TNPs, go to notices to mariners and under section 8 part 2, you will see current status of TNP NMs in ENCs. Here you will see the list of countries which are including TNPs in their ENCs or sending them separately as AIO. If they are included, then you don't need to do anything. But if you see that these are separately sent as AIO, then you will need to turn on AIO layer in your exit and then they will pop up as polygons. Note that AIO comes as a separate ENC set named GB800001. Now coming to the main part, how to procure these updates. I am using OneOcean software which is very popular among many companies. It's a one-stop solution for everything related to passage plan. It has a home screen where you will see many modules such as ENC, nav area warnings, notices to mariners, digital publications, etc. OneOcean automatically downloads all updates available from time to time. But if you need to manually download them, you can do so from the data updates tab. You need to click on ENC module and select the charts which you have on board now by checking active cells. And it will show you all the updates received for these cells. You only need to insert a USB drive and export these updates to it. Sometimes you may see that even after exporting new updates, you are still seeing previous week's updates. This is a common bug in the OneOcean software. So only need to go to activity log and rebuild the latest exchange set and export them once again. Now go to your Active, insert the USB drive and go to Navi Planner or NPL. Go to Charts section and under Install tab click on Browse. Every Active has a unique license key and a name, for example Master or Backup. You need to check with your service provider to know which is what. Once you know that, browse to the USB drive folder, go to the particular name folder of the Active you are updating and you will see two folders. One is AVCS AIO and another is ENC root. The first folder is for AIO which we talked about earlier and the next is the permanent corrections. We need to apply both separately. Once you apply the permanent updates, then follow the same steps to apply the AIO. Once done, it should show the present view. And that's how you know that updates are applied. For any third party inspections, you can either show this or create a report 
from here which will also show the current week your ENCs are updating. Also when you are done updating, don't forget to mention all these information in NP133C Admiralty ENC and ECDIS maintenance record. Another formidable term is TADS. What is TADS? TADS stands for Transverse ECDIS Dataset. Transverse ECDIS have two separate programs unlike other ECDIS. One for viewing called Navi Seller and another for planning called Navi Planner. TADS is nothing but the chart data for the Navi Planner. For any ECDIS, ENC data is called AVCS dataset or AVCS exchange set. But for Transverse ECDIS Navi Planner program, Transverse sends a separate kind of dataset called TADS, which is exclusive only to the planner program. You really don't need to worry much about the TADS files because they are not exclusive to all ECDIS. They are only exclusive to Transverse ECDIS and that to the Navi Planner program. It has nothing to do with AVCS updates. If you are going to a new area and you want to order the charts for this new area, then you will need to order for the TADS datasets. When you go to charts tab in Navi Planner and chart catalog and then you want to select a chart by a point on the map say for example if you want to select a chart on the West Pacific we are going to select these two charts and then we go to dataset there you will see the TADS options. But your Navi Planner program needs to be connected to internet to order for those TADS files. So that's all about updating ECDIS and I think I have covered most of the doubts and questions which many of us have regarding this. I hope this video will help all the second officers who are struggling and also new second officers who are just promoted or junior officers who are willing to learn. So if you want to watch more similar tutorial videos about ship life, visit my channel and browse through the playlist specially curated for such purpose. So see you all in next video. Until then, stay safe, stay blessed.